Hey Libra, what's going on? This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your weekly general love reading. We're going to find out what is going on with the person that you're dealing with, whoever you're connecting with, whoever you're in a situationship with, whoever. Okay, this is for you. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So Libra, this is a general love reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. It will not resonate for every single Libra out there. Please also do check your moon, rising, and Venus, or the other videos on my channel. I do weekly love readings for all the zodiac signs. So if this one doesn't resonate, you're bound to find one that does. So do check them out. Show me some love. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button. All right, so I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot here for the main spread, and I have the Wheel of the Year to clarify. Also, let me know if you want a personal reading. I have a special promotion going on to June 15th, okay? So Libra, you and your person, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what is the deal? Spirit, angels, guardians, and guides, what messages do we have for Libra? Libra out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus at this current time, what do they need to know about their love life? What are they going through? Okay. Okay. I think I've shuffled this enough. Let's get started. Libra, Libra. So the current en energy between you and the person that you're dealing with, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse, okay? So things right now, a little bit um, at a standstill here, okay? Not communicating their delays, okay? It could be delays in communication, delays in being able to travel to each other, to see each other. To make something happen, okay? You, you guys are just not able to accomplish something here. A lot of setbacks, okay? What's the challenge? The challenge is temperance, okay? Being able to find balance, be able to find stability in this situation here. Uh, Sagittarius energy, you certainly could be dealing with the Sag. But if not, right now you guys are trying to um, be level-headed, okay? So in the recent past energy, what happened? The Page of Pentacles, okay? So someone was trying to get things off the, the ground, okay? Trying to move things forward. It also could be a message here or some kind of communication this person may have wanted to come to you about here, right? Regarding stability of this connection, okay? They may have been concerned because there's so, so many delays and setbacks, okay, in the current moment. So what's on your mind, Libra? What's the deal? This Queen of Cups, mm okay you could be dealing with the queen of cups okay you could be thinking about this queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio all right so this is someone who is just loving very nurturing just so giving okay unconditional love very patient kind and understanding you may have love for this person you're, you're thinking about this person they're in the upright so this is definitely something pure um you certainly can have a deep emotional bond with this person here or you can also just be thinking about you know showing love to this person we'll find out more okay in the foundation ten of cups in reverse okay there's some kind of breakup or ending here or lack of uh emotional fulfillment okay but i definitely feel it could be a, a family situation here as well i feel like right now you guys may not be together but really you guys have a lot of love for each other with the queen of cups here and it's just delays okay possibly because of some kind of instability um some kind of setback or lack of balance right now in the situation which is why in a recent past someone was trying to get things back on solid ground so coming into the moment what do we have the eight of swords in reverse so that's beautiful you guys are releasing any um challenging thoughts any mental conflicts that you have about this connection here okay you may have just felt like you were tied up couldn't see something very clearly maybe even you know you had a decision to make here but you were just very confused okay really trapped in your thoughts and that's probably why it was some kind of delays okay so in coming into the moment you're letting that go so that's beautiful okay so how do you view yourself right now libra the fool in reverse you're not really wanting to take a leap of faith okay you're not really wanting to take a risk on this you're not really too sure Okay, so a little bit of stagnant energy, a little bit of pushback. What's the energy your, your person's bringing towards you? The Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So they're not wanting to put in any time and effort just yet, okay? They're not really wanting to put in work, okay? They're a little bit either lazy or they're just a little, just holding back, okay? Holding back on putting an effort into this. They may not see growth right now or there's something here that's just causing them not to want to put any effort into it. We're going to find out. 
So your emotions and feelings, Libra, four pentacles. So now you're holding back, right? So you're guarded. You're not letting this person in. You're blocked. And maybe that's possibly the reason why your person isn't wanting to put an effort into this because they see it. you're closed off. You know, you, you guys may have went through a period of not communicating or something, feeling trapped. And now you're just like holding on tightly into something here. Okay. You're just not letting go. You're not budging. A little bit of a stubborn energy as well. And that's probably what your, your person's picking up on. And that's probably why they're just like, you know what? I'm not going to do anything because you're not, you're not wanting to take the leap of faith in here. I think that you may have lost faith in this. You're just not wanting to move forward. Okay. What's the outcome? Outcome here. Four wands in reverse, yeah, because there's a lack of stability in this situation. You guys are not able to come together in some kind of union and um, be in this harmonious, uh, you know, relationship. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So a lot of anxious energy, restless energy here. You guys may have also taken a step back. Like I said, you guys may not have been communicating because the Four of Swords is all about um, recovering, okay, withdrawing from the scene, just kind of um, going MIA, doing your own thing, okay, maybe even a little bit of ghosting here. All right, so let's get a little deeper. Again, I'm going to use the Wheel of the Year, and I'm going to explore this, find out a little bit more. For my Libras out there, cross watchers, you know you are all welcomed, okay? But please don't be too harsh on me. <laughs> okay, let's get it on, Libra. What do we have for Libra? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Any clarification for this spread? Okay. One more good shuffle for my Libras out there. For the situation. Okay, so let's start with that Four of Swords energy. So a little bit of restless, anxious energy. I think you guys are not speaking and it's just driving you crazy, okay? Um, they're just distance apart or just not knowing what the heck is going on. Because someone took a little break. Someone took a little hiatus. They're recovering. They're rejuvenating. They're putting in all that energy into themselves and, well, not into you. Or it could be vice versa, right? Four of Swords. What's that Four of Swords energy about? Okay. What's that Four of Swords energy here about? Ugh. And this is the overall theme of the reading. For clarifying that Four of Swords, we have the Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So definitely some kind of breakup here. It also can be due to a third party energy. Regardless, it's something here that is very heavily on both of your minds. It's an overall theme. But not only that, it's a lot of emotional pain, a lot of disappointment and hurt, okay? Certainly here with the Ten of Cups in reverse, it couldn't be any more clearer that you guys are just not happy. A lot of sadness, okay, about the situation. I think that's why you guys are restless because... At the end of the day, you guys do have love for each other. We have two Ten of Cups here, and both of the Ten of Cups are in the reverse, okay? So this is telling me that this was a very strong, strong union or a very strong emotional bond that you guys had. A lot of love and happiness at one point, but it just came to an end. It just, right now, you guys are just not seeing um, eye to eye, okay? Or someone that's just taking a step back. So the Eight of Wands in reverse, and again, we have some, um, you know, air energy and some water, so the Eight of Wands, you got a little Leo Sag Aries energy. Eight of Wands in reverse is about delays, okay? Delays in communication, delays in traveling to this person. Okay, things are just not moving forward. And we have Aquarius energy, the star, okay? This is about a lack of um, healing, okay? Or just things are not planning out the way you intended it to be, okay? This is like a lack of wish fulfillment, okay? So these delays are just really getting to you guys. This delay on stagnant energy right now, what you guys are going through, it's just really hurting you, okay? It's hurting both of you. What do we need to know about this star? Why is the star... You're just not seeing your wish fulfillment right now. Why is the star here, please? Yeah, the hermit in reverse. Because someone took a step back. Hermit is the Virgo energy here. Um, someone just, yeah, retracted their energy, right? They're going within, trying to find the answers about the situation. But then someone did. Someone did find some answers. Someone found their enlightenment. And they're just like, wow, I, you know, I didn't see this coming to an end like this. We also have hangman energy, Pisces, okay? Someone's just stuck, okay, not able to move forward. But also, you know, the hangman is also spiritual, okay? It's, you know, really trying to um, look at things through a different perspective, through a different lens, and trying to see how to move forward because things are stuck right now, okay? So the challenge right now is the temperance, okay? It's a little bit of Sagittarius energy. This is about, you know, balancing the situation. How do we bring balance back, okay? How do we get back on the right page after we've, um, you know, after some kind of setbacks and standoff energy here. Six of Cups. So you guys are thinking about each other. There's a lot of um, 
nostalgia, thinking about the past memories with this person, all the good times you guys have spent dating and, you know, just uh, loving each other. Yeah, it's it's love, it's loving, it's it's very sweet, okay, memories that you guys are thinking about. And that's why I think the challenge is to find some healing in a situation to bring things back into balance, right? So Page of Pentacles, recent past, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Someone is trying to, um, you know, communicate with you, and that may be difficult because, right, you guys may not be communicating with that Four of Swords and uh, overall theme. And again, the, page, the, the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, I feel like someone wanted to... Um, move things into stability here but it was a challenge okay with the night they're not able to take action but they may have been trying to you know they may have been discussing it here or having some kind of communication about it oh, wow we have the ace of swords so yeah definitely hear communication about what it is that they want um ace of swords is about truth clarity okay honest communication so you guys in a recent past may have had a little powwow a little chat and it was regarding the stability of the relationship how do you guys see moving forward and unfortunately no one was wanting to take that next step that action okay so libra you're thinking about the queen of cups so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. You're thinking about the Queen of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Could have been some lies, deception, manipulation here, um, trickery, even just, you know, it also can be another third party, right? Certainly with the Three of Swords, it's the overall theme here, and the Seven of Swords, and in this particular deck, we have a third person in the mix, okay? So you could be trying to get over some kind of um, heartbreak or some kind of uh, really deceptive energy regarding this person they may have done something behind your back a little bit um, that you you found very untrustworthy or something was very cutting and hurtful to you okay and it's regarding your, yeah your wish fulfillment it didn't make you happy or now you're trying to leave that seven of swords whatever that um, you know betrayal lies cheating you're leaving it so yet you can you love yourself here with the Queen of Cups but also you know, bring, bring in love into your, your life, okay? So Nine of Cups is all about wish fulfillment, happiness. So you're, you're trying to manifest here. Queen of Cups is definitely intuitive. She's a manifester. She's all that, okay? And a bag of chips, okay? So you're trying to bring in love. You're trying to um, see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? And really um, get your emotions, again, balanced. Let go of some kind of um, cheating lies, whatever this energy is with that seven of swords you're trying to let it go it was very hurtful and very heavy okay so ten of cups in the foundation ten of cups in reverse a lack of happiness a lack of fulfillment okay break up here let's get some clarity why is the ten of cups here please quite a few cards ten of cups please let's get some ten of cups clarity Okay, what do we have? Um, the Six of Swords in reverse, and we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so, yeah. So, I do feel like it's going to be a challenge for you guys to leave the situation here. Six of Swords in reverse is just trying, but it's a struggle, right? You're having a challenge in moving things forward or getting out of some kind of conflict here with the person, even though you guys want to, okay? Because there's some kind of ending to a situation, a lot of happiness, okay? And also, um, you know, the Ace of Wands is wanting to get things started back up, okay? So you could be dealing with someone who wants uh, a new start, a new passionate start, a clean slate. But it's a struggle on how, on how to move things into calmer waters, right? You guys can't get out of this conflict, this drama, or whatever um, the situation is, right? You guys can't leave it behind, but someone wants a new start, okay? So the Eight of Swords in reverse, so coming into the moment, you will be able to release some kind of mental conflict, whatever's holding you back. Okay, whatever this Eight of Swords is about, you um, just mind fuckery, that kind of thing, right? Uh, yeah, Two of Wands in reverse. It's, it's holding you back. You're not able to move forward. You may feel like there's a decision or two options here as well. Okay, so what is this Two of Wands in about Leo Sag Aries energy? Yeah, it's about investing your time into this person again because you may have felt you've been dealing with this person for so long and it's just like a waste. A waste of my time and effort and investment here. And so you're not wanting to take a leap of faith. The fool in reverse. You're just like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know. I just don't know. The fool. Why is the fool here? You're not really so quick to start something new with this person. Yeah. I'm feeling that's you, Libra. 
Yeah, the nine of wands. You're going to be rushing in and doing... I think there's something else that you're passionate about that you're moving towards with this nine of wands. You also could be have someone rushing into your life here. Leo, Sag, Aries. If you're dealing with a fire sign, okay, this person's a fire sign. They're the ones who want to bring this ace of wands, this new beginning to you, this really fiery, passionate new beginning. And they may be taking charge. They may be coming in full force. Yeah, you got someone who is looking at you or trying to find out information about you here, okay? Page, page of Swords, they're spying on you. They're trying to find information, okay? And they want to rush in, okay, with the, with the Knight of Wands, okay? Because they see that you are now pulling back. You're not wanting to move forward here. And look, we have the Devil in Reverse. It could have been a Capricorn um, fire energy or, you know, more air. But I feel like there's something here with this devil in reverse. <clears throat> you guys could be feeling really obsessed or tightly bound to this person, okay? But I feel like even this person's obsessed, okay? You have someone who is peeping or trying to keep tabs on you here with the Page of Swords, stalking your social media, trying to find out what the hell you're doing. And it, it could be a little bit unhealthy. It could be a little bit obsessive, okay? But they're not wanting to put in the work, okay? But they're taking a step back. And I think it's because you're you're blocked, you're not letting them in, and that's probably why they're like, you know what, I can spy. I can find out information about them if they're not telling me, right? Yeah, but they're look at them. Knight of Sword, I mean, Nine of Swords. So they're they're having a lot of sleepless nights, anxiety, frustrations about you. And I think it's because you're blocking them out. Okay, so if you block someone recently, yeah, they're going crazy. Two of Pentacles, feeling unbalanced, Nine of Swords, just really going crazy in their mind, in their head. They can't sleep, can't eat, that kind of thing, right? Because I think that you just decided, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. And it's got them feeling unbalanced. It's got them feeling um, like things are just up in the air, their stability, okay? And I think it's because you shut the door on them and you're not wanting to take the sleep of faith. You're not wanting to have this fresh start. I think you made the decision to just let it go. You're going after your happiness. Whatever that seven of swords behavior, you're just letting it go. Yeah, times are great, but there's some kind of truth and clarity that recently came out. And I think that that really put a, a dampen on this connection, okay? That three of swords energy, that heartbreak, okay? You really cause someone to go within, want to recover and try to find some answers here with that hangman energy. And well, you're just closed off, okay? You're like... I'm going to hold on to my dignity. I'm going to know my self-worth and I'm not... I'm not going to allow you to take that from me. So four of pentacles. Why is that four of pentacles here? Yep, nine of wands. You've given up. You're no longer fighting for this relationship anymore. You're just like, I'm okay. I'm not going to do this anymore. Something that you were very passionate at one point. Yeah, death, Scorpio energy. It's an ending here for you. You're like, it's a no-go. I'm done. Four of wands in reverse is the outcome. So lack of coming together in some kind of union, right? This is typically like a soulmate card, but in the reverse, it's just someone is just not, not open to this connection anymore. Yeah, it's the empress and the emperor. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> you guys are very, um, wow, strong, strong energy with you guys. And you guys are just very also feeling very stubborn okay you guys are like bumping heads right now but there's a lack of a union coming together with someone or you know with you guys where at one point there was a lot of forward movement there was a lot of potential there was a lot of nurturing and growth but you guys are just right now are not seeing eye to eye at least for right now this outcome okay but you guys are like a power couple like very very strong strong energy um a lot of potential to just um a lot of just potential in general, okay? So yeah, you guys are definitely calling it. It ends right now, um, but that can certainly change. But I think it's really because of some kind of heartbreak and disappointing energy, okay? So that's what I have for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let me know if this resonates. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button and come back for another reading, guys. All right, take care.